Remember this, if somebody's running you wide out of court, don't try to hit a big winner, just get it back, throw it up, keep the ball high, get it back in play, and at least if your opponent's at the net, they're going to have to make a winner. They're going to have to beat you. Tracy Austin does it better than anybody I've seen. I was really lucky that Vic was a part of my young tennis life. My first memories of being on a tennis court were with Vic, you know, running around with other kids, giggling, laughing, so therefore I continued to want to play. And remember, part of our problem on the serve was people are trying to imitate the trophy. <laughs> oh. Vic definitely thought out of the box. He was the first that came up with all of these gadgets and the teaching lanes and the tennis college. He was a funny scientist. There are very few people that have that scientific mind of being interested in the degree as you strike the ball or the velocity of the ball, digging into the minutia of tennis. And if you see this arrow, the arrow is going towards you, which means forward spin. He would have these camps. It would be in the classroom working with Vic, talking about the video instruction. You know, they would be videoed and he'd go through it frame by frame and analysis of their strokes. Then he had what was called a teaching tower. It was a high tower right in the middle of four different courts so that the coaches could go up there and look at the four courts. When you hit the balls back into the middle, there was a conveyor belt at the bottom that fed those balls back into the ball machines. This is genius stuff. This is all innovative. This was 45, 50 years ago. Eventually, Vic got to where he was teaching other coaches so that they could move on to their club and teach Vic's method. He was like the Pied Piper because everybody wanted to be around this knowledgeable guy about tennis who wanted you to improve as much as you wanted to improve. And I think that's a very rare quality.